Hello pilot and welcome back to German Turtle 05. You join me in Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown for Mission 11 Fleet Destruction. Now, a uh, couple of comments. Uh, people always commenting on what aircraft I'm using. So first of all, doesn't matter. My guides are showing you how to beat the mission, not what to fly, not how to kit out your aircraft. I have a substantial hangar as you can see here, but they are all mostly fighter based and I tend to modify these for ground assault, which is what you should be doing with whatever equipment is available to you. The thing is everybody will have different aircraft and that is why it really doesn't matter. So while I'm giving you my strategies, obviously use your own as well to stay alive, to dodge your missiles and all that. But without further delay, let's jump into the mission. So first thing I'm going to mention here guys, if you're actually a trophy hunter, make sure you don't skip the refueling sequences and your takeoff sequences because they actually count towards your trophy. I'm just going to let you know that now. Uh, and with those side notes and all that housekeeping done and out of the way, uh, let's go straight to the mission. Okay guys, so just like last time I've superimposed the map, points A, B and C, all you need to know. Now for an easy warm-up session I like to turn right and head towards point A. So point A is a fleet of enemy battleships with anti-missile defences, which means your missiles will be almost completely useless. You can get a couple of shots in if you're very quick uh, and you're heading at them at plus 2000 speed. But what I prefer to do is just to use a long range machine gun type weapon. So I've got the pulse laser here, but you might have like the laser cannon or the laser beam. There's a couple of different ones you can use. I'm sure bombers have their own uh, strategy here as well. But essentially speaking, these ships are great for points because each one has about three targets on it or more. Uh, and the helicopters that take off from their decks are also valuable targets. So. When you're out over here, obviously your main target is this massive ship that I'm going for now. There you go. Boom he goes. We're already up to 7,500 points. So once you've circled back and destroyed the rest of the fleet, it is time to head over to point B. You'll be on around 12,000 points by the time you're done, if not a little bit more or less. It doesn't really matter. The damage is done. Now, before heading over to point B, the one thing we need to remember is to go refuel, repair and restock because the next leg of your journey will use a ton of ammunition. The enemy fleet has been neutralized. You guys just down some serious firepower. Yeah, it was a piece of cake. This is Control Tower. Make now it's important to remember that while you're doing your landings and takeoffs, you're not actually losing time in the mission, so do this as often as you need to. Just keep in mind how much time it will take you to get back to base. The reason I recommend doing this early on is because markers A and B are much closer than marker C to the refueling line. Strider 1, this is control tower. The runway is clear. So without any further delay, it's time to head to marker B. Now this is where fighting the enemy actually gets a bit more interesting. So at point B, I like to take this approach angle because it gives me a straight run across all of the enemy decks. Now these are sort of oil rigging platforms uh, used for military purposes, obviously. Guarded by a lot of destroyers, a couple of helicopters and a lot of air support. Once again, I would highly recommend ignoring the air support and doing strafing runs on the decks or on the boats. The boats are worth quite a lot of points here. Usually an average of 300 plus the total of whatever guns they had on them. But for your most efficient solution, watch what happens on my screen next. We go for a target called a core. The core is located directly beneath the upper platform of these oil rigs, as you will see now. And once destroyed, everything above them collapses. And using this method, a good pilot, or to be honest, even just an average pilot like me, can pretty much take out most of the enemy defences on the platforms and score himself a bonanza of points. Now look guys, I will advise that it is best to take your time with this area. There's a lot of opportunities to accidentally crash into things like cranes, ships, cores, etc, etc. I think most of you will find that this mission isn't as time sensitive as we're led to believe normally. Uh, other missions definitely are, but this one is a little bit easier to achieve within the allotted time. 
So once you're done with areas A and B, or just one or the other, you can actually move on straight to area C if this intrigues you. Now this is the most difficult of the three areas, but it also has the most simple targets. So I like to approach from area B, as I'm doing here in the video. Sorry I couldn't superimpose a map this time, I forgot to bring it up in the game. And what you do is immediately strafe this massive runway in the middle of the ocean. It is covered in anti-air, SAMs, jets taking off, and cargo planes. You, you'll briefly see a cargo plane on the left side here, and that cargo plane is actually one of your major targets. Now once again while strafing the runway, I highly recommend you use machine guns and the sort. Uh, and take nice long run-ups so that you can have plenty of maneuvering space when those missiles come at you. Stay nice and low to avoid getting shot out of the air by absolutely everything on the runway. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our feature presentation. That's right, I am an absolutely insane pilot and I have no idea how I survived this, but I do. Oh yeah, tank is a bonus point, by the way, but ignore that for now. was that. Now, obviously, you don't have to do the crazies and fly straight through the middle of it like I did, skimming the edge of the hitboxes as you pass through. The, the, the most important thing to note here is that you can actually shoot them fr from a safe distance as well. You, you can do that, yeah. So guys, that is how you absolutely destroy and annihilate areas A, B, and C on this map. And uh, consequently, this tutorial accidentally also became how to get the S ranking on hard mode for this particular mission. Uh, because that's what you get when you go over 40,000 points on this mission, and that is what we achieved. So, if you were here for a tutorial on where all the big points were, that was it. If you're here for the cinematics, I'm just going to let them play themselves out as we finish today's episode. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Remember to hit like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. It's German Deadly 5. We don't force anyone to do anything here, but obviously subscribers will grow my channel and then lots of people can have fun watching these videos. So it's ta-ta from me, and make sure you guys stay frosty. Bye-bye.